Viewer discretion is advised. So y'all know that I talk about a lot of people, right? And this is no secret considering that I've talked on numerous people in my day, right? From big to small. And for the Mr. and Mrs. Strawman's out there, you most likely already knew that, right? And you're posing this question as to why I'm even bringing this up, right? Like, this seems redundant. Like, shouldn't we have already known that? Well, here's the thing, right? This is something that, you know, I feel like I need to say because the person I'm going to be talking about today is someone whose infamy is very large within this community right now that I must talk about it, right? The things that they've done is something that just can't be swept under the rug. And a lot of the things that they've done deserves to be in the spotlight because, yeah, you know, a lot of the recent actions that they partaken in, especially, you know, the actions from back then is something that I really do need to speak on because, yeah, like how can something like this just go unnoticed, right? And a lot of things that they do is no longer just something that, oh, it's just petty, right? Or it's just some small little drama that really nobody cares about. This is something that has really reached the headlines, right? And when I say that, I mean, people are basically investigating it, right? Like this person has basically been known to be a very ruthless person, right? Basically be known to not be so much of a nice person, right? And they just keep missing the point at certain points where, you know, it just came to a point where, you know, it felt like now speak on him will be the good time, right? You guys most likely saw his name in the title and was confused by that. Well, I just gave you somewhat of an answer, right? And this person, of course, is Joshua C., you know, Joshua Coley, aka the Transit Project. This is the person who I'm going to be talking about, right? So without any further ado, let's begin. So you're probably asking yourself, Antica, how did this all start? Well, it all started with this community post that Joshua C put up on this YouTube channel stating this. I don't have it up on screen right now, but basically he talks about his stylish choice and what his new fashion is going to be. And I really don't have much of a problem with this. I really don't. And I'll showcase the photos as well, you know, because it's followed by these photos. Well, I only really need to show you guys one, so only one photo will be present. And I'll show you guys that as well because, yeah, I really need to only show you guys this to showcase what I mean. But basically, Joshua C talks about his new fashion and what it's going to be. He even showed you guys in the photos right and i really don't have a problem with him dressing like a woman in some sorts right what i really have a problem with is consistencies because on his facebook page he talks about him being a heterosexual man you know essentially and on youtube he talks about him being a homosexual which really doesn't add up but whatever right and it's not like you know it was that far apart right you know when the facebook post was made when this youtube post was made it was very within its you know, time span. So, you know, it just didn't really make that much sense to me. But basically, on his Facebook post, he talks about having a baby on the way, you know, him basically becoming a father, you know, you know, all that good stuff. And that's cool, right? You know, I really don't have much of a problem with that. But how do you go from somebody who's a straight male, right, to someone who's this, right? It just doesn't make a lot of sense. And he says the woman that he had the baby with is his friend, not girlfriend. No, you didn't miss her, me, friend. Now, why would that person be your friend? It just seems odd, right? Unless you don't consider her more than a girlfriend, then that would be one thing, but he didn't specify that. So, you know, your guess is as good as mine as to what he meant by that. Well, long story short, what ended up happening is that Joshua C. lost his baby, which is really unfortunate for him. So, therefore, he couldn't have the child, which wasn't really his because it was his friend. So, yeah, it's a whole mess. But basically, Joshua C., he wasn't going to be a father. So, you know, I was having issues with that. You know, basically, the lying part, you know, and the manipulation and basically, you know, the gaslighting into thinking that he was going to be a father when that's why that wasn't actually going to happen. So, you know, he basically just led people astray. But hey, you know, at least it got what it worked, right? It got people cultivated, right? It got people paying attention to you. So I guess he got what he wanted at the end. It all amounted to something, right? Well, basically, you know, that's something turn into nothing because Joshua C ended up being someone who's not really portrayed in his Facebook account, right? And on YouTube for that matter and everywhere else. So basically he ended up being uh what people would call homosexual, right? And yeah, basically you know that's what he's becoming or that's what he's really trying to be, right? That's really what he's aiming for. And yeah, it's not like you know he went to some transition or anything like that. He even had this to say about it. So, you know, make it out what you will. His response it's a little bit wishy-washy but yeah i guess it does explain something i mean he doesn't really identify as a male or woman 
But, you know, I guess, you know, we're supposed to take it as, you know, him just being non-binary or something. Like, it really was confusing as to what he was trying to get across. But, you know, at least he was trying to say something on the matter. So, hey, I got to give him bronze for that, or at least her for bronze for that. But, yeah, Joshua, so, you know, Joshua Cole, a.k.a. Transit Prodigy, he just wasn't, you know, being clear on what was going on essentially but he did say a few things that was clear so i gotta give him that so now i'm gonna be moving on to this post that joshua and nick made aka the transit prodigy and bj blue productions the reason i'm gonna be talking about this is because they posed in this position now i do have my problems with this but despite that you know there really isn't too much wrong with this post right you know it's not like you know they're doing anything wrong here the problem here is that you know they're talking about you know basically being best friends right so you know it just doesn't really look right right like you know to most people so this has garnered a lot of positive reception but at the same time it's garnered some negative reception as you probably could tell so yeah so this post has basically you know got her some leveled out you know positive and negative reception right so that isn't too bad when you really put things into perspective but yeah basically you know this post was really what got shadow the edge lord you know to post about it now he's posted a lot of videos on joshua and nick so yeah i will say it's a bit obsessive but it's obviously a troll account so you know i don't think i need to say much there so you know you can go watch those videos link in the description box down below he has took down one of them which is the main reason why i want to talk about this right aside from you know just talking about this post and a lot of people say you know that he's insinuating that he's gay right you know like you know basically you know that sort of thing and that could be true and i do have my reasons for thinking that as well but you know that's clearly not the case it's just them being friends you know posing that way which really isn't a problem you know it's how they want to do it but yeah they say it's cosplay or whatever but you know i mean that's really up for interpretation that's really what you want to believe so i'll leave that to you guys and you know basically what you think about this honestly i don't really think much of it i think it's innocent but you know obviously joshua took it the wrong way when shout out to edgler posted about it so you know make it out what you will so when i said that he took it down i was referring to joshua c aka the transit prodigy so he's the one that took down the original video that he made on his channel so basically yeah the re-upload of that video was on shout out to edge lord's channel and he basically you know re-uploaded to you know basically get a reaction out of joshua c obviously and yeah obviously joshua c he took the bait right he obviously you know fell for what he was doing so basically he just fell for the trap he went right into his trap <laughs> basically and yeah he basically you know took down that video and rightfully so you know it was definitely you know something that's you know in his right you know so obviously his video was re-uploaded it wasn't used in a transformative way so you know obviously you know we feel some certain way i mean it was obvious you know that the shadow the edge lord should have did that but at the same time you know it's a troll so what really what really can i say right <laughs> and basically yeah he took down that video and yeah it led to this whole you know thing between shadow the edge lord and joshua c so you know it's crazy right so you can just go watch the videos like i said in the description box down below we'll take you to those videos and yeah basically you can just see those videos that shadow the edge lord uploaded but yeah you know joshua c made an instagram post about it and these are basically what he had to say about it and it's honestly insane now i want to get to the part where basically people were claiming that joshua c doesn't take criticism and here's the thing right he takes some of our consideration but he doesn't really take all of it so it's not that he doesn't really take criticism it's just the fact that you know he doesn't really listen to it despite of merit right he'll just dismiss it since it's negative and i do kind of have a problem with that but at the same time you know that's his wishes so i'm going to respect it but you know i wish he would just be a little bit more you know intuitive right and basically listen a little more when it came to that so i wish he would work things out a little bit more especially with shadow the edge lord right basically with this situation with him i feel like you know he should have listened a little bit more but you know maybe that's just me but yeah that's basically how i feel about that or deal but yeah you know you guys can tell me how you guys feel in the comments but yeah basically for me i feel like you know this went out of left field right it should have escalated this far but yeah but to be fair you know and since he is a troll i know he's gonna do this but maybe he shouldn't have posted that much but you know i don't really see you know posting that many videos on a person is you know such a big problem right it only becomes a problem once you know you really don't have anything new to say but if you have something new to say then you know post away right like it really is no problem and it's not really hurting anybody but yeah but i could see how you know it would hurt since you know it is just re-uploads you know of the same posts that he posted so i guess i kind of get it 
now get into Joshua using autism as an excuse bit because this is something that I really wanted to discuss and this is basically the post right here, right? It's basically by Chelsea herself, you know, aka MSD Wolf. So I'll leave the link to that one as well as all the others in the description box down below. So I'll provide the links to everything in the description. So yeah, it's not really a link to that post to be fair it is a post to that account that she posted on you know basically that facebook status but this is basically what she has to say and you know she talks about you know joshua c using autism as an excuse basically you know to sum it up and yeah you know while i could see that being an argument you can use against him right and i don't really see it at the same time if that makes sense so basically i could see how he uses it use it as you know basically something to his advantage you know something that he would do but at the same time he's just saying that just to basically make him feel better about himself i'm not saying that should really be an excuse or anything but i'm just saying right uh yeah so joshua c you know he is just saying that he's autistic you know basically putting the autism hashtags in his posts or whatever which i really don't have a problem with but you know i can see how people have a problem with that right and i do have a tiny bit of an issue with that um, to some extent, you know, when basically, you know, posting that every time you make a post about something, right? Like, you know, having a bunch of posts just seem a bit excessive. But at the same time, you know, while it doesn't seem a bit excessive, I can see how, you know, you will use it, right? Because at the end of the day, you know, it is to empower those who are autistic. So I can see how that's the case. So, you know, is he really someone who's just full blown, you know, using it as an excuse? Well, yes and no. You know, he does, you know, sometimes use it to his advantage. Yeah, sure, you do. He could use it to get out of that situation, but I don't really see that being the case most of the time. So, there you go. Now it's time to get this out the way, basically talking about Joshua's rules, because this is something I personally don't get. This is not just with him, but it's also with a lot of channels, right? Basically, a lot of channels like him, where they basically set rules and expect people to follow them. Well, they clearly don't understand the Strider's effect, where basically, you know, you tell someone not to do something, it just has them keep doing it more. Basically, if you try to sell it someone, they're going to keep being louder. So, you know, it's the total opposite, right? That's just the internet for you. But basically, yeah, Joshua C., you know, he just gets mad and basically, you know, deletes the comment, whatever, you know, that person doesn't follow the rules of their own channel which is pretty sad and pathetic but at the same time you know, i guess i kind of get it but if it's youtube then i understand right you know obviously you know youtube has the option where you can basically set rules for your channel right once you you know basically go to the comment section before you leave a comment it tells you yeah you know you have to do this and do that you know basically the rules that they have set for that channel then you know that makes sense but if it's you setting the rules yeah it really doesn't make a whole lot of sense and you know i get that you know it's your channel you should be able to do what you want but you know don't you think a bit cowardly and pathetic right that you're doing that and basically you know you deem anything negative as something that should be worth deleting which is something that is a really cowardly tactic right basically really something that you should really think over because yeah once you start to see the pieces come together then you will see how sad and pathetic that really is but anyways yeah he you know he claims that he's not sgw obviously because you know he doesn't want to be deemed as sgw because he sees a negative thing and it's clear to me he doesn't know what sgw is considering that you know he's in his late 20s you know early 30s you know something like that so yeah the fact he doesn't know what sgw is is kind of scary <laughs> i'm not gonna lie but you know but just aside yeah it's really sad he doesn't know it considering he's older than me and pretty much a lot of other people apparently so is that so this next part mark Quell talks about joshua c being a transgender now i'm not going to deem it as the truth but i will say it is interesting so take a listen real carly will always be the nastiest motherfucker i've ever met like i said it's just basically the same shit no not that victoria the victoria from chicago he dated a whole fucking dude that was de date dressed up like a fucking woman. And he basically is a dude dressed up like a woman. So he basically wanted to do the same shit. Now he wants to be a full tr transgender. Now here's the thing people don't fucking realize. Adventure time with the transit prodigy. Yeah, people don't know that the transit prodigy is, is basically a cosplaying badass fucking transgender. Behind the, that fucking iPad slash camera slash iPhone. Ew. 
So that person that you heard talking just now is Marquel, a.k.a. MCMM Transit Productions. So if you want to go check him out, you can. He makes amazing content, so make sure you go check out his channel, all right? So, yeah, but he's definitely, you know, one of the most, you know, enthusiastic people that I know when it comes to transit because, yeah, he definitely, you know, is on point with that. But anyways, that has nothing to do with anything. So, you know, in terms of the Joshua C situation, yeah, he spoke on that, right? You know, basically spoke on, you know, him being a supposed transgender, right? Now, I don't really know how much, you know, of this is true. So, you know, take this with a grain of salt, considering, you know, we really don't know the age of this information, right? Like how long ago it was, or, you know, basically if this was anything recent, you know, so like I said, take everything with a massive grain of salt, right? Don't just quote it and basically say yep this is it like you have to look into things right obviously so you know at least that's what i hope you're doing but anyways so that's basically what mcmm transit productions had to say in, in return to that now that i got in that squared away i want to get to msd wolves hit piece now because she has a quite a few things to say on this guy so i'm gonna let her speak her piece now so let the videos commence by the way it's a two-part video so yeah the first part is obviously on joshua coley and the second one is obviously on joshua coley as well but you know you guys have to hear the both videos in order to really understand you know why it's a two-parter so she basically split these videos into two so you can act it as if it was one but it's basically two right so there you go it's basically one big collage right so anyways let's hear her say her piece on joshua coley Since this video is basically talking about Mr. Joshua Coley, better known as the transit prodigy. I knew this motherfucker really want to start the bullshit towards me and my best friend. Plus, he started not just me, so I don't know what the fuck his problem is. I don't like his like his intro, which is the short ones, by saying Adventure Time with the Transit Prodigy. Adventure Time with the Transit Prodigy. What kind of intro is that? Let me repeat that again. Adventure Time with Adventure time with the transit prodigy. Holy shit. I think my ear is bleeding. Not nah, just kidding. But yeah, he starts the bullshit towards me and my best friend. Knowing that me and my best friend didn't do anything towards him. He just capping. And also, he caps that he says no when I confront him that somebody confronted me about he's throwing his hashtag which is the autism thing or should I say hashtag actually autistic adults this motherfucker really want to start that bullshit I wish I could have the rest of the DM but since he deletes his own page plus he has a fan page which is looks very sus. Anyway, this is about it. Don't forget to describe me if you're watching it from Anti Go Show. So, yeah. So, that was the first one that MSD Wolf made. Now, we're going to get into the second one. So, yeah, this is basically like, you know, our way of doing a joint project. So, this is like our little collaboration right here. So, <laughs> Yeah, hopefully you guys like it. But yeah, I just want to commentate on this right quick. So when she says the NT Go show, she's referring to my podcast. So for those that are new here, in case you're not in the loop, well, now you know, you're probably wondering, like, what is the NT Go show? That's just my podcast name. All right. So yeah, just so you know. Oh, I forgot to add one more thing about Joshua Coley. Um,. I went to Instagram and check what he posts and I saw something. I'll show you guys. What the f What the 
actually fuck did I just read? Let me show you again what he said. How can you be a father to a child if your friend is a mother with a different father? Like, come on, use your brain and are you that stupid? Because that doesn't sound right anyways, because it doesn't make no sense though. If your bestie is a mother she probably have somebody as a relationship not a best friend there's no way that you could be a father to the child and the mother is your best friend that doesn't sound right literally it does not sound right so Joshua Quinn saying that he's ready to become a father to the child and then after that the child was miscarriage from unknown reason. Oops. Ain't not my problem though, but still, it doesn't sound kind of right because Joshua should think in the hardest way that the mother of the child could have somebody as a relationship. Like literally, come on. If I were Joshua Coley, I would say I could be take care of the child if the mother is going to work or the father is probably doing something but no become a father to the child damn I swear Joshua is really an asshole and son of a bitch who's not using his brain correctly if you guys read the paragraph why he says that He's ready to become a father. I don't think Joshua Coley doesn't know what's the meaning to become a father to the child. I was about to comment and say this. How could you could be a father to the child if the child already has a father? Hmm? Since it's not in my business, but knowing Joshua, this is why he will talk to me. I use my autism brain to say that I could be a father of a child. He be like, what do you say? Say that again. Oh, I use my autism brain to become a father. Are you fucking serious? Like, come on, stop using autism as an excuse oh come on using the autism as an excuse come on i swear he needs to stop saying that because god forbid is he any unknowing on the dm that he kept saying that like this you know i'm autistic i should know that and i was like Bro, bro, you're just saying that for clouds, but guess what? I don't even give a flying fuck. He been posing that hashtag of autism since he posed a video and at least posting on Instagram. Well, the hashtag is hashtag actually autistic adults i warned him last year because one of my friends told me that joshua needs to be careful but it turns out joshua being an asshole and not even understanding what i'm saying but it's whatever because he deletes his second account yes he made a second account the other account was deleted because i don't know what's the fucking reason but it ain't my problem but since he makes the third one as a fan make. Ew! For those of you who are friends with Joshua Coley, just give you guys a fucking heads up. Joshua is just being a retorted motherfucker. 
who does not understand what's the meaning to become a father and at least a trans above because he's just a maniac. This is about it. I'll talk to you guys very soon. Oh, don't forget to follow me on social media if you have any questions. Just keep in mind that my points is my points and her points is her points. So just so we're clear. And by the way, you guys should go check out MSD Wolf because, man, isn't her editing so good, man? Like, her editing's improved a lot. And honestly, I've seen the gradual increase of basically just good editing, right? <laughs> you know, if you want to call it that. So basically, I've seen the improvements made over time. So, you know, you guys should definitely go check out MSD Wolf's channel. It will be linked in the description down in the box below alongside with all the other links so you know that's basically where the fresh road of links will be so if you want to see anything that i've talked about in this video for yourself then you can go do that but you know now we're going to get into what i have to say next so when i said that joshua c has kept missing the point at certain points well this is what i meant so basically joshua c was basically trying to make it seem like you know that shadow the edgelord basically the person who was talking to him right was basically you know trying to get him to basically get control of of his channel whatever you know basically make it seem like you know he's trying to tell him what to do which wasn't really necessarily the case it was just trying to basically recommend him something right but you know of course he took it as you know the worst thing possible so yeah you know he took the least terrible interpretation which i can't really blame him for you know i really can't blame him for coming to this conclusion considering you know how things were worded but at the same time you know he should have just heard him out more right and that's basically what i was trying to you know insinuate earlier right you know with you know the chatting and basically getting everybody on the same page right so basically you know trying to get more inclusive right trying to basically hear everyone out and not single everybody out because oh it's negative you know so if you just deem it negative right obviously you would just be like okay well i'm out you know instead of actually you know taking the time to actually hear everybody out you know you know basically from word of mouth so that's basically what i was getting at there I would like to thank MSD Wolf for joining me today, and I will basically like to end another video here. So that's basically all I have to say about Joshua C, you know, Joshua Coley, aka The Transit Prodigy. So, yeah, and to some extent, I would like to say this is all I have to say about Nick, aka BJ Blue Productions. So let me know your thoughts and opinions on these people that I mentioned in the comment section down below. Let me know how you guys feel about MSD Wolf and her videos. And yeah, you know, let me know what you think about my video as well. So, you know, this is basically a huge coverage on Joshua C. So hopefully you guys took the time to really examine and, you know, basically have a good laugh or two in this video or basically have a good kicking, you know, have a good Netflix and chill, as it were. So, <laughs> yeah, that's pretty much it. That's all I have to say about Joshua C, right? So and we'll just end it off like that. So if you guys have been living your best life, then good. That's what you should be doing. All right. Hope you've been raising your vibration and frequency as well. Well, vibrational frequency, you know. It's in the same family, but anyways, yeah, um, that'll be it. So like I always say, whatever you do out here, make sure you guys live your best life and whatever you do out here, make sure you raise your vibration. That's very important as well. Make sure you raise your frequency as well, not just yours, but also others and, you know, help others do that and also raise the frequency of the planet. That's also important. And yeah, you know, help my other guy do it too. Okay. And that's pretty much it. All right, go subscribe to MSD Wolf. Check out all the links in the description box down below that I said before. You know, I said this numerous times, so, you know, hopefully you heard me the first time. But if you didn't, well, I just told you again. So, but yeah, that's pretty much it. Let me know your thoughts and opinions. That'll be it for me. Bye.